Wondering why the seasons go by so quickly. For fall, it seems much quicker than the other seasons. Turns out there's a reason for that. Meteorologist David Keller now with the answer. Well, it's that time of year again, the time of year when meteorologists get questions like, hey, what happened to fall? Why did fall go by so quickly? And of course, the ever popular, we went straight to winter again? Well, if you feel like this, fall's always coming in short, you might actually be onto something here. So to dig into this, I looked at a list of all of Omaha's high temperatures going back to 1871, provided to me by the National Weather Service here in Omaha and plotted them out. So uh, these bars represent the number of times we've hit that high temperature. So you can see we've spent a lot of time with highs in the 70s and 80s. Now, anything below 50, I kind of counted that as some winter-like weather. And it turns out we spent about a third of the year in that range, about 119 days. On the flip side, anything over 75, I counted that as some summer-like weather. And good news for you summer lovers, that actually turns out to be the biggest chunk of the year. A little over a third of the year, we spend above 75 degrees. Now, what about that part in the middle? The nice days, the spring days, the fall days. Well, that turns out to be the smallest chunk, a little bit less than a third of the year, about 115 days. Now, you have to remember that 115, well, that's shared by both spring and fall. So you cut that in half. Comparing summer and fall, it turns out that those really nice spring and fall-like days, a little bit less than half the length of summer about 58, 55 days each. So yes, fall does turn out to be quite a bit shorter than those summer and winter seasons, so it goes by very quickly. On your side, I'm First Alert Meteorologist David Kelly.